If you're looking for an advanced level, longer than 20 minute rowing workout, this is the workout for you. Stay tuned. We are going to get a 30 minute intense interval training session in today. So 10 and 20 minute sessions are really great way for you to get comfortable and familiar with this machine, but occasionally getting something beyond the 20 minute barrier, like 30 minutes or an hour in a session is a really great way of giving yourself lots of practice with lots of good strokes. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm Shane Farmer, this is Dark Horse Rowing, where you build the life that you wanna live and we just happen to help you get there using rowing. In today's workout, we are going to be doing three rounds of eight minutes on, two minutes off. Inside of those eight minutes, you're going to be ping-ponging back and forth between a stroke rate of 20 and 24. The objective is that you learn how to give a near maximal effort for an entire eight minutes so that you aren't burning out early and unable to finish strong. So the goal is that you are learning pacing as this workout goes on. There are a couple unique settings that we're going to throw at you for the setup on the monitor. Of course, this is for a Concept2. You can use any machine that you want, but I'll walk you through how to set these up on a Concept2 monitor. Now, house cleaning notes before we get started, as always, make sure that you have perhaps some water handy if you're gonna need it. As you can hear my voice, I have a bit of a cold, so I'm gonna keep one next to me. Next, always make sure that you have two types of devices. One, so that you can watch this video. I suggest something like a laptop next to you or a TV screen on your wall. And then you're going to have your phone. I encourage you to consider checking out this phone mount that I have, but then make sure that you have Erg Data on your phone. It's an app, it's free, it's from Concept2, and it's going to track your workouts so that when you're done, it'll auto push to your Concept2 logbook and just auto log all of your workouts for you. It's just a really easy way of making sure that you get to keep your data over time. Following that, I encourage you to have something like a hat to catch sweat or perhaps some wristbands to catch the sweat off of your arms. Make sure that you're hot and ready to go so that you don't go into this workout cold. And from there, let's just have a great workout. Now let's talk through the setup of how to do this on the monitor. From the main menu, you are going to go to select workout. That's the B button. Then you will go to new workout. That's the D button. Followed by intervals. That's the D button. Intervals time, that's B. You will then change the set time to eight minutes. It should be flashing at a one right now. So you'll press the B button, that's the plus button, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That puts eight minutes as my set time. Then you're gonna need to hit that right arrow, that's the A button, one, two, three, four times. That's gonna get your zero flashing under set rest time. From there, you'll hit the plus button or B twice. One, two. That's gonna put two minutes on your screen. Okay, so with eight minutes on and two minutes off, remembering inside of each eight minutes, you will row at a 22 and a 24, ping ponging back and forth every two minutes. So you'll essentially get two tries at 20 and 24. The only thing to remember is you are trying to accumulate your maximum distance in eight, in eight minutes. So when we drop down from a 24 to a 20, it's not a rest period, it's just a change in stroke rate where you now have to learn how do I continue to give good effort even though my stroke rate is lower? Hint, the answer is not through increasing stroke rate. Again, we're capping stroke rate for that very purpose, which means you need to learn how to engage and connect with the machine to get more out of every single stroke. Okay, with that being said, I've hit the check mark. That is the E button. From there, it's, pl it's flushed up onto my phone. It's on my monitor. I'm warm and ready to go. I'm gonna set up onto my machine. I'm gonna start my heart rate monitor, which is simply a watch. It's a uh, Garmin Phoenix 5X Plus. A lot of people ask about what this is, and I must say it does an absolutely terrible job of keeping my heart rate while rowing, so I would encourage you to get a heart rate monitor if heart rate is something that's important to you. Uh, I, I, I honestly don't know why I run this at times, but here we go anyway. So I'm hitting start on that. Then we're gonna get ready to start this workout. We're gonna start at stroke rate of 20. Sitting ready, three, two, one. Let's start course.
some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time, ain't doing no harm It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time, ain't doing no harm It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Go back down to 20. On this one. Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car. Looking for some kind of open bar. It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright. Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm. Having a good time, ain't doing no harm. It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright. You know I can't stay what you're getting so hollow 
number 24 again. In five. Three, two, one. 24. I can feel the heat is rising and the beat is hypnotizing. Oh, oh, no, we run the show. Let's get loud and come on, lose control. Got to live or we get too old. Come on, shine. Shine a little tonight. Let's get
if we're not aligned right now, just skip the video for it. So that's uh, 50 seconds left right now. Free to skip, get in place with me, go into 24, in two, one, here we go, 24. When words are said, we'll regret. I can see the fire that we made just to save us when we try to make up for never letting go. Said the things we promised not to say, then we break up just to start alone.
show you what a good time looks like You can't do better You can't do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better I dare you to be wild Two. Whew. Two minutes of rest. Keep spinning it on your own. Let's chat for a second. Ooh Guys, that is a seriously great middle distance workout to start getting you comfortable above and beyond 10 minutes and 20 minutes and getting you primed and ready to go. <coughs> spending more time on this machine, getting more consistent and learning your pacing. In that final round, you were probably starting to find a rhythm. And that's the key. Can you find a rhythm? And can you understand what pace your body wants to settle to? For example, in round one, I came out too hard. I felt it in round two. and round three, it was about trying to find the sweet spot between round one and two. And these are the things you learn by taking more strokes. So I encourage you, even if this is foreign to you, spend the time here. Right? So be willing to submit yourself to some of these workouts that are beyond your comfort zone because these are the ones that will help you grow. Fantastic work on that. Next time I would encourage you, check out our intermediate playlist for some shorter range workouts that may be a little bit higher in intensity but a little bit less in volume. And don't forget to subscribe so that you become a member of the PDP Army Push Don't Pull and you get alerted whenever we come out with new videos.